Hi folks, today I'm going to talk about the last video in the series on how to plan for various goals. I'm going to talk about retirement planning. Now I'm sure retirement planning is on most of our minds. We envision ourselves leading a comfortable life after working hard for many years. We're doing the things that we want to because we have the time and money and all this without depending on our children or anybody else. At the same time, retirement seems so far off that it's difficult to start planning for this. How do we go about it? So I, I like and I use this calculator which is given by PrimeInvestor.in. It is a free calculator and it tells us two things. What is the corpus that we need by the time we retire? And how much do we have to put away on a monthly basis to reach that corpus? Now, the first field that we have to input here is our current expenses. Now, as opposed to many calculators that ask you to you know, first assess your retirement goals. What is the lifestyle? What is the things that you want to do? And then estimate the expenses around that. Put down various expenses related to that. This can be difficult for people to envision and could actually delay you from getting down to retirement planning. Instead, we can take our current lifestyle as a yardstick because we know that as life progresses, we are going to maintain this kind of lifestyle or something slightly better than this. Now, using this as a, as a first measure, we take away things that we will not have as expenses in the retirement phase. For example, you would have finished servicing your home loan. You may not keep an obligation like that while retiring. You may not require to pay your children's education because they have already grown up by that time. But you may need to add a component for medical insurance, which you may not have at this time. So. Take your current expenses as a yardstick, remove the items which will not be required at the time of retirement, but add a few practical items there. The second field to input here is your current age. So I've taken 35 in this example and the retirement age, which I put as 60. Now the last field to input here is a current lifespan. I would recommend putting 90 years as the expected lifespan. This is because Medical technology is improving all the time and as you would have seen among your parents and among a lot of elderly people, the lifespan has gone up. So we need to plan accordingly. The next step here to input is what are the current investments we have that can be used at, after retirement. In this example, I have put 10 lakhs as the existing investment this person has. And I mentioned the expected inflation rate as 6%. I've also mentioned the expected rate of return post retirement as 6%. Now, if you would notice, typically inflation and FD rates go somewhat hand in hand. Therefore, I've kept both similar. At that time, inflation rates could be lower than this. But at this point, this is the data that I have. So I've put this in my example. Lastly, I have put the expected rate of return on my portfolio as 12%. This is because I intend to build a portfolio which is largely skewed towards equity mutual funds. But if you're doing a mix of, let's say, PPF, FDs, and equity mutual funds and stocks, then you may want to consider a blended rate of return and put that here. So this is a construct. You can input whatever numbers you have. It's always better to take conservative numbers here so that we are erring on the side of caution. Now let us see what is the output the calculator throws for us. So the calculator shows us that the period for which we need this income is 30 years. That is from the age of retirement of 60 years till our expected lifespan of 90 years. Now the monthly expense which we have put as 1 lakh at this point of time has gone up to 4,30,000. This is because every year there's an inflation of 6%. The total corpus that we need, therefore, at the time of retirement to support our life from 60 years to 90 years is 15 crores, 16 lakhs. Sounds very big, right? But now look at your existing investment, which you put for 10 lakhs. That has gone up to 1 crore, 70 lakhs. So this is the benefit of starting to invest early. When you start investing early, this sum also grows and compounds as the years pass by. Now, so the balance corpus which needs to be built is 13 crores, 46 lakhs. 
how many years do you have to build this between the age of 35 and 60 therefore you have 25 years to build this corpus and you have to put away a monthly amount of close to 72,000 rupees so this amount is what you need to put towards your retirement now you can also add lump sums when you get a bonus or when you get some extra amount you can put this towards that goal and build a higher corpus if you feel that the lifespan I've taken is much higher you can reduce that if you feel that the rate of return I've inputted is higher you can reduce that as well so you can move around these figures and see what best suits you however the main thing we have to take into account is the sooner we start and the more amount we put away towards this this can be used for not only for our retirement but for other goals as well so I hope this video helps you to plan for your retirement and eases your mind from that worry if you have any queries please drop a comment or reach out to us on any of our contact points and we'll be happy to clarify them for you thanks for watching do stay subscribed for more such videos